week, a million pounds of dough leaves the 60,000 square foot near each bakery in the form of bagels, tortilla wraps, and pita bread. The Rockton business is a family affair. Brothers Eli, Abraham, and Al Ada are proud of their product and their heritage. They're Lebanese. They're Lebanese. These ovens crank out baked goods six days a week. Everything here today will be out by midnight. To food service vendors that supply restaurants, cafeterias, and supermarkets throughout New England and as far away as New Orleans in Ohio. It all began in 1992 when Eli, just out of high school, went to work in a Lawrence sandwich shop. If I wanted to just make a, you know, whatever sandwiches it is, whatever subs is just to come out to be on pita bread. And I had difficulties finding it, so we start making it for ourselves. Less than a year after that, when we start, me and my grandfather making it, people start walking in just to buy the bread. That's when we kind of knew that we onto something. It's my favorite thing to eat every day, and it's my favorite thing to watch coming out of the oven. It's the bread of um, our family, our tradition. What makes it different than other pita breads is the taste. Uh, I think ours has, has taste to it, which is, you know, it's not just flat bread. The now famous Stacy's Pita Chip started using Near East's product. She started buying her, her bread from us years ago. We're talking in the late 90s. We were the only supplier for her chips for years. It all starts from raw materials, and the raw materials start in there. Raw materials plus Abe's custom-made machines. We only use sugar, salt, and yeast, and, and the water. Divider cuts it into round balls, gets into the poofer, sits about 20 minutes on the round ball, then he comes to his cheater, A cheater, which is flatten it long, and the second cheater makes it round. They travel into the second poofer in about also 15 minutes, and to the oven. The sizzling 1200 degree oven is where the magic happens, the creation of the pocket or splint. It's a process of a 30 second. The temperature of the oven has to be right. Condition of the dough, the moisture has to be right. When the piece of dough goes in the oven, it seals, the heat seals it from the outside. The humidity starts boiling and it's kind of gonna evaporate it out and but because of the seal is already created, so there's no place to go. And that's when it kind of formed pressure and it opens the loaf. When it, the loaf starts dancing, it's like in the oven, it's dancing, and that's when we smile at it. But Manolas does not live by pita alone. Five years ago, bagels and tortillas were added to the line, giving their East a competitive edge in the market. 20 years and growing, today it's not just the dancing pitas that make these brothers smile. We stay together with each other every day. And How many times you know you get to see your brothers every day that you grew up with? I mean, we're still like little children. <laughs>